Yo guys, welcome back to the channel. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to turn any static image into a 3D parallax view. It's easy to do in a light motion and just as simple in CapCut. So learn how to achieve this kind of effect in CapCut as well. So you will be able to use in your documentary edits and other kind of cinematic edits. So first you can see the example. So we will create AI image with some kind of apps like Ideogram. So go to Ideogram application. It's available for Android and iOS and enter your prompt here like mountain landscape with cloud sky, winding roads, city lights below and a person standing on a roof watching. Now you have to select realistic and select your ratio according to your platform and just hit the generate button. It will generate 4 variations of your image so you can choose any image you like. You can generate 10 times per account so you can create multiple accounts to create image. Now scroll down and you will get a download button. Just download in your gallery and next we will use photo room application. Just install this photo room application link in the description so you will get a lot of features but you have to select the retouch option. In the retouch option you can remove person or object from a photo so let me show you how you can do this. So just click on it and import your photo which you want to use. Now simply brush on this person to remove from this picture and it will remove this person and you will get a background like this okay background is so clean and now we will use remove background option so you can remove any person or object from the picture so click on it and import the same image so it will automatically remove the background like this okay good now click on transparent button this one okay now simply scroll down and export this image in your gallery now open CapCut and click on new project and just import the background image as a media first now increase the duration of this background image like this now you have to import that main png as overlay now zoom this image and fit on screen like this increase the duration of this png as well now you need one more overlay a black screen rain video i have added the download link in the description for you once downloaded import the overlay into CapCut like this okay now click on this overlay and select the splice option. Now you have to choose the filter mode and adjust the strength according to your video. I am keeping it at 35% and it's done. Next we will animate the image and PNGs starting by going to the beginning of the timeline. Just simply select the background image and add a keyframe in the starting point like this. Ok, now add a keyframe for the PNG of the man as well and now go to the end of the timeline and add another keyframe to the background and slightly zoom in like this okay now do the same for the man's png but zoom in a bit more than the background image to create a camera view effect and done after all this you can check the result of this animation in your CapCut timeline For the final touches, let's add some effects. Go to effect and click on video effects. Now you have to search for an effect which is called play pendulum. After adding this effect, click on adjust option to change the values. So keep twist up to 0% and sharpen will be 0% again and the intensity will be up to 5% and speed maybe 10% okay now you have to duplicate this effect again to apply on the mains png just click on object and choose the mains png here now click on adjust and change the values again for the mains png so speed will be 15% speed will be increased 5% from previous and intensity will be 10% okay it's good now you have to increase the duration of both effects okay now it's time to add some lightning effects go to video effects and find the nature section and select the lightning crack uh here it is okay click on it after adding this you have to just change values by clicking on adjust you can choose the filters stickers speed twist you can change values according to your videos and after all that you have to just put this effect randomly in your videos to create a realistic effect after all this you will be able to create 3d parallax effect in CapCut. i know some people might say dude it's easier in light motion but i'm here to show you what's possible in CapCut mobile it's a more user-friendly tool and my goal is to help enhance your skills i hope you find this video enjoyable and helpful